G'day tradies, welcome back to Tradie Connect. I'm Val. We're at a beautiful beach, an undisclosed location somewhere. We're not going to tell you uh, where because a fisherman never reveals his secret spots because you can never unlearn a secret spot. We're here talking to the big Mark Haynes. Now Mark is a keen, avid fisherman, a professional fisherman who takes uh, the sport and the art to the next level because he does it on a kayak. Hello Mark, how are you? Hey Val, I'm very well thanks. Mate, um, great to be here, what a perfect day. It is, it is. Perfect Beautiful. day in the office. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you been out this morning? Yeah, I've been out this morning, um, nice and early, about uh, 6.30 this morning. Mm -hmm. um, catch the fish while they're uh, still asleep. A couple of flathead this morning. You a couple, a couple of new flatheads, misses. Uh, any, any hair tail out here or, or leather jackets? Yeah, not this time of year. The hair tail usually comes through around about February. Mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not, uh, during the day, middle of the day, on lures is the best time and the, the best technique um, i found around here. Yeah, on that, we're going to show you some footage. Uh, Mark took his single-person kayak. It's a, it's a Hobie Mirage for those of you who are uh, in, the, in the know and in the sport. Uh, and he landed himself uh, an incredible monster. It was a Jewfish, and uh, you, well, you'll see it because if I just tell you, you won't believe it. Well, that's right. You know, it's, it's one of those things you dream about. And when it, um, when it uh, comes about and it actually happens, it's just amazing, absolutely incredible. Could you run through, run through your, your, your gear? Or your, the equipment um... I use, Val, is um, primarily uh, Daiwa tackle. Mm -hmm. uh, so Daiwa reels and Daiwa rods. Reliable uh, stuff. Yeah, very reliable. I mean, even there, um, I've aimed for the, the top end of their, their market because of the fish I've been aiming for is the top end of the, the fishing ladder. They're right uh, up there on the you know, top that's of the right. evolutionary scale. You know, when these things take off... No pun intended. The uh, the hooks, I use uh, mostly owner hooks and uh, Berkeley hooks yeah. and jigs. And then the reason I believe I catch these massive fish is because um, it is good, reliable quality equipment, tackle, um, that you can rely on time after time. Uh, when you get these things on, you, you want to have the best. You know, I, I reckon anybody that's um, looking to get out there and do something different to um, sitting on the couch, they give fishing a go. Uh, for those who are, are out there and um, haven't been fishing for a while, get your tackle, it's that time of year, it's yes. September, you know, the water's warming up, it's 19 degrees, spring's in the air, the fish are on the move, and you could do worse things like go to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what more do you want? Tradies get off the couch, get out of the pub. There's no, there are no drugs out here except for a, for a few, uh, few natural ones. Just those endorphins and adrenaline, mate. It's, mm -hmm. it's absolutely incredible. How heavy was this thing, Mark? How big was it? Uh, 31.3 kilos, an absolute monster. Fish 31. of a lifetime, Val. Good glory. Yes. It's heavier than me, is it? Isn't it? Hold on, lift me up. Is it heavier than me? <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe just a touch. Just a touch heavier than me. 